Hi, welcome to Performing Equestrian. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to properly put on a bridle. So first, what I wanna do is just talk to you about the steps to do that, and then I'll demonstrate how. Also, I wanna introduce our horse today. This is Tari. She is our quarter horse mare that um, is one of our major therapy horses that we do, that we have here, and very, very sweet lady. So she's gonna demo for us today. So um, first few steps that I wanna talk about when putting on the bridle and some important key points. Um, the main thing is whenever you go to put the bridle on, you wanna make sure that as you place it into the mouth, that you don't accidentally hit the teeth with the bit, okay? Because that can cause pain for them. So that's really the main factor that you wanna watch out for when putting the bridle on. And um, this is Tari's bridle that we have here. Whenever you put the bit on, you are in her mouth, you wanna hold it a certain way. So you wanna make sure that you run your thumb on the inside. I usually run my pinky or my ring finger on the inside as well. But the reason I do that is to kind of feel with my hand where her mouth is at. And then I'm also gonna use my thumb on the inside of her mouth to give her a cue to open up her mouth and let her know that the bit is coming. That way it doesn't just smack right into her teeth and cause pain for her. So um, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you wanna do is put your reins over the horse's head. That way if she were to walk off, I still have a hold of her. So I'm gonna do it like such. And then I'm gonna take her halter off. You could ride technically with the halter on depending on the kind of bridle or head stall that you have, but we usually take ours off. Okay, and then I'm going to put my right hand at the top of the bridle. This is called the crown piece, and I'm going to hold that there. And I'm also going to put my arm right here on the top of her head so that I can kind of control that she doesn't raise it up too high or move to the left or the right. So there I've got my right hand set up. Now I'm going to take my left hand like I showed you and put my thumb on the inside of that bit. And I'm just going to simply take my thumb and place it on the inside of her mouth there and give her a little bit of a wiggle. Now sometimes if they're a little bit stubborn about this, you can also take your thumb up and kind of rub it on the roof of their mouth. It kind of tickles them a little bit and that'll give them the cue to open up. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her that cue and she has opened up her mouth. So I will slide with my right hand up and then I'll get ready to pull her ears through. You do wanna watch their eyes. See right now I've got it on the inside of her eye and now I'm gonna lift it up and over and slide her other ear in like such. And then I usually adjust their hair also to make sure it's not pulling or causing any discomfort for them. So that's pretty simple. That's how you do um, putting the bridle on. Now we're going to talk about how you take the bridle off. Uh, pretty simple again. What you want to do is watch for those teeth. But I'm going to put one hand behind each ear piece and slide it forward. And then I just let it drop out of their mouth. But you just want to kind of keep your hand there to catch it and let it slide out of their mouth like so. All right, so that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.